Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Patrick's Parabox. This is a puzzle game inside a puzzle game. You get the idea. It is a recursive and inceptive puzzle game where there are levels inside of levels. The goal of the game is simple. You are meant to get your character to the little character looking hole below me. But there are boxes that you push around and boxes that you go into. You can only enter a box in the center. So you have to find a way to get in from the side and it seems that using another box will let me do so and that's the name of the game setting up boxes in ways that let you and other boxes go to their goals using boxes within boxes it's a wonderful game incredible actually this one seems a little tough but i understand how it isn't i had to get inside this teal box so i gotta push it out and then i can go down and transfer over what if i do it over here instead Ah, what if I do it at the bottom? So that way, this box can't be pushed over, I can just go into it. Right, so I'm getting the idea. It seems like the two boxes need to be located here and here. And how hard could that really be? Well, let me try something. Can I... This gets pushed inside, right? It does. So what I would want to do is push this all the way down, then enter it, and then push it out so I can exit to here, come around to here. I see what this world is called transfer, because you're transferring in between blocks. Here we got two gold blocks in addition. I think those are just kind of meant to help with um, blocking things. It doesn't seem too tricky. You just kind of push this in and push the two gold blocks down here to kind of create an artificial wall, and that way there's a solid surface that prevents the teal block from going any further. Makes sense so far. A lot of levels in this world. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a single world video. So this is odd. I'm just meant to get any box onto this spot, but I got two boxes that are up against the wall. So I guess if I put this against the wall, put this over here, then walk here, I mean, I'm just gonna... Whoa, that's not what I expected. I know it makes sense though. Yeah, if if there was a solid surface to the right of that blue block, then I would have gone into it, but because there wasn't, it had room to be pushed, so I pushed it. This seems to be a challenge of pushing two yellow blocks into their yellow goals. So I imagine I gotta set these up here, put you in, and then rinse and repeat with the other. I think I can just do it on the wall here. Doesn't seem too bad. And then exit and go. They're really easing me into it, which I like. I also missed a red level that I'm gonna have to double back for. This, oh, this is funny. I can't enter that block. Well, what's the deal? Can I enter this block? No, it actually eats that block. Okay, so what I just have to do then is set up these gold blocks on the side, enter, for... no, it still eats those. Let me try something. Reset. I assume this eats the blue block, yes? I'm sorry, eats the yellow. I knew what was gonna happen, I just didn't say it right. Oh! Oh, wait a second. Hold on. If I have both of the yellow blocks to the right of the blue block, then it can eat both of them. And then it won't eat the green block. That's why we have the yellow blocks. There we go. There was only so many things you could do, but that makes sense. Okay, this seems like what we got to do something similar to what we did with the previous level where We just eat one of the blocks. Hopefully the direction doesn't matter. It might matter. Let me reset I want to eat the block down below Like this and then Line this up here. Let me just see if I can get one. Okay. I can get no. I can't get one Um reset. Yeah, so I got to enter from the blue into the green, but how can I actually set it up so the blue doesn't eat the green or anything of that nature? What if I have this yellow here and I push it this way? There we go. That took a little too long for my tastes. But now I gotta still enter the other one. Hold on, so let me push this yellow out and then push this down. And then yellow block go here, and basically it's just a repeat of the other way. Had to make sure I could reuse the yellow block. Wait, what? Did I undo? Oh my god. Did I undo this? Oh, yeah, I undoed a little too far. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. 
So what I actually need to do is push this out and then push this in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I already pushed it in. There's nothing more to think about, but there was more to think about. So there we go. Now we've done it. Moving on. I wanted to double back real quick. I missed this red level. It's a tricky level. Let's get it now. This is going to be more similar to one of the first puzzles. All right. So, I mean, you enter at the green and then you exit at the blue, but there's an issue that pushes. So, just reset. Because it seems like if you just have it be positioned in anywhere that has... Oh, I see why you can't have it here. You don't enter the green. Okay, you just need to find the right cubby for it. I see where it needs to go. It's right here. Perfect. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. I just get to the goal and I win. Nice. On to this bonus level. Any one level with a red outline is intended to be trickier than usual. Okay, so I see that we're supposed to just kind of use these yellow blocks as buffers. Because I want to be able to have the sensation of pushing blocks up against the wall without actually committing them to the wall. So this way this can be freed. And then I can just rinse and repeat. This one's a little bit easier because there's no need to actually get it back. So here, as long as I get it in, I should win. Nice. Okay, moving on to new non-red levels. This one's a recursion level. First recursion of the day. This is a level inside a level inside a level. So you just enter it and your bigger self comes in. It's it's a wonderful mindfuck. So it seems like there's just two goals. Get the yellow block into its position. Kind of like, what? Oh, all right, let me reset. That is weird, man. Get the yellow block into its position here. And then get myself into the side of the block here. Not too bad. Certainly looks weird though. This is funny. Oh, this is really funny. Okay, hold on. Wait, is this a clone? This is a clone level. Okay, so the block I'm pushing around right now is the main level is the real level. If I enter it, I enter it. And then this one is a clone. If I enter this block, I'll actually enter the main level. Oh, but this is so weird. So weird to explain. Yeah, entering this lets me enter the main level. But it also lets me enter the clone. But I, I gotta win on the main level. Just go with it, okay? Anyways, I wanted to see something. If I enter the clone, I believe I enter the real thing, so I just get there. Very nice. Let's do some of the red levels. Okay, just recursion, no clone. This is strange. I want to exit from here and then go around the green and then come down, but there's no spot where there is... Yeah, this doesn't work because I just pushed the green block out of the way. I wonder if I have to push the level itself inside the green block and then come out here oh i see what needs to be done because i have a level inside the green block i now need to place the green block about here so i can exit into the green block push this over and now that's technically up against the wall so i can waltz to my goal nice another red level more recursion and some inception there's a green block that i can't enter at all okay well, I see how this must begin then. Something like this. So I can get this yellow block. And this just has to go in here somehow. Is it possible for me to push the blue block inside of the green block? I mean, maybe. What if I push this out? And then push this out. It's my big self. I feel like I gotta push blue inside of yellow. So void block. And then I can push the level itself into green after a bit of adjusting. That's not what I wanted. Nope, not what I wanted at all. Was I ever inside yellow? I was. But then this will just... Oh, that is a weird look. <laughs> I, for a short period of time, become so big that I cover the whole screen. That's just great. Okay, wonderful. Oh, this is a trippy world. Pushing green outside into green. 
Holy crap. I, I, saw, I lost where I was for a second because of how trippy this is. Okay. Yeah, I would love for in some way to get green inside of green. Whoa, I just pushed green into the void. I didn't know you could do that. What the hell? That is weird. All right. And then that goes into the void too, and then everything's stuck. Oh, that's funny though. I can't push it much further. Okay, noted. Don't push green into the void. Can I have yellow eats both blue and green? Does that actually do anything for me? What is happening when I do this? Blue is eating yellow when I do this? Yeah, I want yellow to eat blue. And I want to be inside yellow. But blue is still on the outside. That's not good. Well, let's see. If I push this up... Oh! Oh! If I push this up and there happens to be a wall above me, I could walk in with blue. So I just need to set this up that there's a wall above me. Or in the direction I decide to go? Whatever works. Maybe try this way? Then back out real quick. Get this to be... Well, here? How do I make space for green, though? That doesn't make much sense. Because I still got to enter this block. And I can't push this up and out. Crap. Oh, but I, yellow's on the outside, so I can exit through here and now push green up. And now I can push blue into green. Good god, this was something else. I finally got blue to be where I wanted. I can escape the blue and then go up into green. Jesus Christ, this game is nuts. It's blowing my mind, and I still have half the world to go. What the hell? This is going to be a one-world episode. Holy crap. Let's carry on. This level should be comparatively easier, but a different mechanic. Well, it does involve a clone. So I think the idea is this. If I enter the clone, I actually enter the real thing. So I'll enter the clone, and now I'm in the real thing, so I can go over here. There are nine clones, but you always enter the real thing. I think I had to start by entering the clone. Oh, this is odd. I've got to push this block into the real thing. So up to here and then around. No, it's, it's got to go around here, I think. But then how do I push it up? That doesn't seem to make sense. What if instead I set it up here and then push it down? Now we're talking. Now we are talking. And then I push it over here, over to here, push that in and get myself to the goal. Yeah, the clones just always bring you to the real one. And that's what's going on. This block, okay, is enterable. It doesn't look movable. Possibly? Could be pushed down? It could be pushed up. Yeah, it can be pushed up. Well, that means it can be pushed over too. Can't it? Yeah, that's pretty helpful. So then if it goes over here and gets pushed over, yeah, now it's in. Now I just need to get up there. But I can't go down because I'm controlling the one in the in the real one. Like I'm controlling the bottom right. And that one has a wall next to it. But I can enter this because it's a bendy piece and go up here. There we go. Right, I forgot it was a elbow hallway at first. A macaroni hallway. Wait, what the? What? Two different blocks, each with their own clones? One has two clone? One, one has two clones? Okay, well, how does this line up first? Where do I enter? I enter in a blue clone, undoubtedly. So then I'll enter the real one. Yeah, if I enter and then exit the blue clone, you can see how I've moved. So since I'll exit through the real blue, it's got to be set up next to a green clone. So I'll enter the green clone and enter the real green. And then while I'll exit the real green, I'll enter, well, the real blue, but... Let, let me show you the path. First, it'll go from top left, then it'll, I'll teleport to the one that's to my left. Then when it goes to the one to my left, it'll actually go to here. And then it'll enter here, which actually enters here. It'll make sense. Just watch. 
Here we go, and I'm in. <laughs> okay, I lied about it making sense, but it'll work. Now And now there's three clones. Oh, my god. Great. My words are going to escape me even further. <laughs> this is this is a nightmare. Okay, well all I have to do is get to the bottom left. So I have to go from yellow to blue. But first off, where do I start? I have to start in a blue because that's the only box that has a centerable entrance, and that'll be here. And then I'll exit in the main blue. But I will want to have this be so I go into a green clone. Yeah, have this go into a green clone. It's just going to be a more involved version of the previous level. So from fake blue to real blue to fake green. And then I'll be in this real green. Then I've got to enter a fake blue. And then I'll enter the real blue. And actually, that's got to go into a clone yellow which will put me into the real yellow, which will put me into blue. So this is a funny path, but it should work. Just got to go through, and there's my goal. Nice. I like these levels. These are really fun to do. I am entering in a green. Oh, this is a weirdly shaped world, though. Just two boxes each with two clones each. But I don't like the shape of this world. Something tells me I'm going to have to move some of it. So I enter, wait, I don't enter the green? Oh, it looks like it lined up. Looks like I'm meant to enter a blue from the side? Oh, good God, okay. So I gotta start with this clone blue, which will immediately teleport me to the real blue. Then I gotta enter a clone green, it looks like. Here's the thing though, how do I actually enter my goal? Because it looks like I have to go from blue to blue. Is that... Oh, that is possible. Yeah, that is possible. I think it's just at some point, I've got to end like this. But here's the thing. Uh, from green, I have to go to blue. Am I using all the blocks here? So I go from clone blue to real blue. To clone green to real green, I am missing something. Oh, well, I go from real green to clone green to real green to clone blue to real blue. Trust me, this will work. <laughs> Here we go. Green to green. Green to blue. Blue to blue. Nice. What the fuck? <laughs> this game is insane. This game is blowing my mind and is not even really using much recursion. It's just Inception. Wait, where is this? Where am I? What? Is this a clone to my right? No, it's just three levels tightly packed within each other. And can I push this block back in? Yes, I can. Can I push it back in here? I can. Okay, so what happens if I try to push this yellow? It doesn't quite work. If I want to push this... Oh, over here, I see. And then if I push it back in, it'll kind of centralize itself. Yeah, there we go. This is a very roundabout way to do things, but now I just push it down, push it in, and get to the goal. Yeah, so whenever you push a block into a block, it's gonna kinda center itself. Why do I need two void blocks? Why can I not just do this? Oh, because I'm too small, or too big, rather. I see. So I've gotta do something like this. Oh, but that consumes. But I've gotta go inside both those blocks. So let me reset, because I think this needs to be in a bottom corner. Otherwise, it won't quite work. So now I can go inside and over. That's pretty weird. Makes sense a little bit. What's going on here? There are six yellow blocks. And a lot of stuff doesn't line up. Like, that's what they're messing with right now. Blocks that don't line up. So, okay, let, let, let's see. What the hell is my goal? I had to get two blocks, one here, and then one here. What happens if I push these blocks down? Is there more goals around here? No, I wouldn't say so. I can't exit from here, though. Ooh, yuck. Okay, so I gotta use the yellow blocks to push the yellow blocks. Because some of these can exit, but not all. And actually, I guess... Oh, I, I can't have the yellow blocks escape, but I can't escape from here. 
And I can just push all this over? Hold on, let me push all this over first, and then this over. That should win. Oh, I'm missing something. What? Ah, oh, there's a goal down here. I didn't even notice. Well, that's bad. And this, I mean, this has to be... Well, I guess I can free up these blocks one at a time. Yeah, hold on. I could separate these blocks like this. That's the lesson to be learned here. So it's like two separate puzzles. I use these three together. And then here I use these three together. And that one block should go into the bottom right. God, this is... They just destroyed the grid. This is the second grid-based puzzle game that I've played that has destroyed the grid. I'm not upset. I do like destroying the grid. It is just certainly not what I expected in a recursive puzzle game. But I, I can get behind it. Uh, the other grid-destroying de puzzle game that I played was called Room to Grow. Highly recommend that game. It's a long cactus game, and it's one of the cutest puzzle games I think you'll ever see that will also destroy your brain. So I see. Bottom left is a clone of blue. So again... I've got to get orange or yellow inside blue or blue inside yellow. I think either works and I'll see which way it goes. It goes blue inside yellow and all that matters is that I set it up like so. So I'll just enter the clone and enter the real thing and now I'm able to make it to my goal because I'm a similar size. Oh, this is funny. This yellow block is a weird one. It's got a tiny exit here. I become puny. So I think what needs to happen is that blue needs to swallow green. Yeah, I think that's the idea. So I'll push it here. Enter, and then push this up here, because now it should match the size of this yellow hole. And hopefully not do anything weird. Yeah, it works. Nice. On to another challenge level, and then to the bonus levels. I think I've got to set it up like this. And then I want to put green inside of blue right now. I also think I want yellow inside of blue. Yeah, one thing at a time here. So actually, let's do first in, last out. So this goes in first, this goes in second. And then I can turn around, push the yellow, push the green, enter the green! Damn. Okay, I see how this needs to be set up. Let me reset. So, the idea is that none of the blocks can cannibalize each other, except for the ones I want to cannibalize each other. And that means I gotta have some of these blocks facing on the outside. And now we can do first in, last out for this middle block, and it should work this time. Unless if I'm mistaken, I've been mistaken before, but I don't think I am this time. Nice. And let's go to these blue bonus levels. What the hell is this? Okay. Uh, colors are ch oh, colors are changing so you can't keep track of which block is which. Oh, that's weird. Because there's really only two blocks. It's a strange, it's still kind of recursion. It's close to recursion. But color changing just so you can't use colors to decode where you are. Here's the main thing. I've got to get the... <laughs> The solid blocks, I'll call them, to be right here. There's no way I'm getting the level inside the level to go there. Oh, is this a clone? Is that the idea? No. I see. This block is the right block. And th this block is the left block. Yeah, how do I do anything? Okay. Oh, I can push this over and then up? I can... I can enter from the top, I suppose, and maybe push it down with me. Okay, I see where it needs to be positioned. It needs to be positioned right here. And then I can enter from the top? I mean, that seems to work. And then this means I just need to enter from the bottom. Okay, no, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I actually like the color changing. It's aesthetically nice, not even mind-blowing. It's just nice. Oh, this is funny. I can't push the block because I enter the wrong spot. And same goes with this. I enter at the wrong spot. So what can I do? Well, I can push this block out for starters. Well, and then I can push it back in. And where do I enter from here? Okay, that seems about right. This just seems like two puzzles in one. 
because here I got to push the block out and then back in. That's all this level is really about. So I got to push it out from this way now and then push it in and then push it down and I should win. Nice. Very cool bonus level. And oh, I got to push four blocks into a void block. I'll do a little block cannibalism here. And then I've got to push this yellow block over to this. Oh, well, that works. That maybe works. Let me try something. Push both of these in. Right, we do see some block cannibalism. Which may be fine. Push this down and down. And then push this in. No, that's not right. How many blocks can this eat? This blue piece. Can you eat a good few? Right. Can I maybe push blocks from the blue into the green? Maybe? Possibly? Maybe? Yeah, possibly. I mean, I can get both of them there. And then hold on, where's this blue block go? Oh, there we go. Nice. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, that's everything. This has been a tough world to explain. I'm glad I can still do it, but I think I need to go have a snack. Jeez, man. I think uh, I'm going to call an episode here open. Okay, this looks small. I could do two worlds next video as long as this doesn't destroy my brain. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go have lunch. <laughs> I need brain food after this. This has been destroying me. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.